children up until the age of four are operating at the genus level. The same group of children were studied in their early 20s and only 10% were still operating at the genius or what I call the brilliance level. And in their late 20s, early 30s, only 2% were still operating at the genius or brilliance level. So the question you have, like I had, is where did this genius or brilliance go? It didn't go anywhere, but it became buried by a society that says color within the line, sit down, give it back, you can't do this. By the time a child is 17 years of age, they have heard no 150,000 times and only Yes, 5,000 times. And the more you continue to hear what you can't do, where you can't go, and who you can't become, there is a neurological path that is created in the brain that causes individuals to shut down. I have gone through a divorce within the last year, and my two children, Daniel and Madison, they are now my, my greatest joys. Madison came into my office not too long ago, and she said, hey, Daddy, what's going on? I said, hey, baby girl, how are you? And, and I was preparing to go on a trip out of town. And I was busy scurrying around. I was not totally focused on her. And she says to me, Daddy, I see you're busy. I'll just come back later. And I said, okay, baby girl. And, and I get on the plane later on, and it hit me that I missed the moment for spending that quality time with my baby girl because I was emotionally clueless and emotionally unavailable because I was so busy trying to make so much money that my ladder was against the wrong wall. And their mother said to me, you give everybody the best of you, but you give us the rest of you and I don't want the leftovers anymore. And what I recognized, I was modeling something for Daniel and Madison that you gotta go after, you gotta get all this stuff. And I had the house, but I lost the home. I had success, but I had no significance. I had power, but I had no purpose. And I had money, but I had no meaning. And what I discovered, if I continued to model that behavior for my baby girl, that she would marry a joker like me who ignored her like her dad did. So what I recognized is that I had to move from hearing Madison to listening to Madison. Because the same letters that spell the word listen spell the word silent. And when I have that time with my baby girl, I'm dialing in, how are you? And I'm modeling something for her brother as to how he's supposed to treat a woman. Women don't need us to fix anything. They just want to know, are we emotionally available and emotionally dialed in to know where they are? When it is time for you to make a U-turn and shift into your brilliance, we will have to come to a place where we're willing to do the work. It's not who you are that holds you back from brilliant success. It's who you think you're not that holds you back. And sometimes we focus on who we think we're not instead of who we are. So now, now, I, I, through pain, I'm learning that relationships are more important than money. 